Hello, hi. If you want to just skip to the death com, then just go to this timestamp because that's when they start. Up to that point, this is basically just going to be a final review of the game because I uninstalled it like a month ago and have no intention of putting that garbage back on my PC, which is also why this death com video is shorter than the rest and the clips are from older versions of the game. Like, I, I haven't played the game in like a month and a half, but I had like seven minutes of death com sitting on my computer from months ago and I wanted to do something with them, so I figured I might as well make a final review and then get these clips out. So yeah, skip to the timestamp here if you don't want to hear my review of the game and if you just wanted the death comms, if you want to hear the review, then stay right there. Three, two, one, blast off. One, the file size is absurd. If you want to install Warzone and only Warzone, it is 97.6 gigs on PC. If you want to install Warzone and standard multiplayer, like so you can level the guns up, it's 154 gigabytes. I don't recommend you play Modern Warfare multiplayer, but do you see my point? The amount of space you save just by not having this piece of shit on your PC is insane, and as I will explain going forward, this game doesn't do anything unique enough for me to put it on my computer over other other smaller games that I gotta have multiple of at the same time. Two, it runs like complete ass. I have a nice PC. I have a wonderful PC. I can count on one hand the number of games that my PC has had trouble running. Meanwhile, one of the biggest games in the world from one of the most well-funded companies on the planet runs like complete ass. It stutters. It's blurry even with all the settings turned up. The frame rate is way lower than a game like this should be running on a PC like mine. Alt tabbing and full screen stutters my whole computer. Launching and closing the game stutters my whole computer. With how well funded and constantly updated this game is, there is absolutely no excuse for how poorly it runs. 3. The armor system is counterintuitive and not skill based at all. Not only does putting an armor plate on slightly take too long in my opinion, the bigger problem is the fact that it only fills up the current bar of health. It doesn't give you a flat... 50 HP like an armor plate should. So not only do you sometimes have to just waste an armor plate on 10% of what it actually usually would give you, but also it's way easier to third party people because healing now takes so long and now there's also some degree of unfairness to the healing. It's not like Apex where you can just swap armor off someone if, if you kill them. And it's not like Fortnite, I can't believe I'm about to say a nice thing about Fortnite, but it's not like Fortnite where you can just pop one small thing two seconds and you know you have an increased health. You know you have a base amount of increased health. The armor system in Warzone causes so many problems because of how stupid it is. And it causes you to get third partied and eliminated from the match earlier than you otherwise would have because the armor system is just stupid. Four, it's buggy as shit. Why are there so many bugs? Why do challenges only sometimes track? Then there's all the other obvious bugs and stuff that you guys know about. The stuff that people have been talking about in this game for like a year now. This game is so fucking buggy, it's insane. Five, the cheating is out of control. This one's self-explanatory, I'm not gonna talk about it. One of the biggest PC games in the world doesn't have anti-cheat, are you fucking kidding me, Activision? Six, Black Ops weapons are horrendously balanced. Not only are they blatantly better than Modern Warfare guns on net, but the gunsmith progression for the Black Ops guns is so fucking horribly laid out. With Modern Warfare guns, there's a good, you know, there's good attachments available at different times. Like, you don't have to hit max level with a gun in order to make it viable, and certain attachments are unlocked at different levels depending on the gun you're using. Black Ops, on the other hand, you pretty much have to max rank a gun out to, to optimize it in Warzone, which is a blatant move on Activision's part to increase player retention. Certain guns in Modern Warfare had the max range attachments unlocked really early, but you can, like, can you name a single Black Ops gun that does that? That's also because almost every Black Ops gun has the exact same layout for attachments unlocked in the exact same order, they just have different names. For all its faults, Modern Warfare at least made every weapon's progression feel unique because Infinity Ward actually bothered to put some effort into the way each gun differed from everything else. Treyarch was either too pressed for time or just didn't give enough of a shit to do the same with their gunsmith progression, which is why every single Black Ops gun has the exact same progression system, just with the labels changed on certain weapons. I never bought Black Ops Cold War, so I had to grind the Black Ops guns in Warzone, and that process was so fucking grueling, and I just gave up after a while. I think I maxed like five or six Black Ops guns before just calling it quits and going back to Modern Warfare guns, because even though they're not the meta, I at least had customization for them. 7. Skill-based matchmaking I was in the top 1% of the leaderboards at the time that I uninstalled, and I can't even start to tell you how fucking annoying that made the matchmaking for me. Not only did it take fucking forever to find a match, but I was also forced to play the game with meta weapons and meta weapons alone in order to have a chance. Which just goes back to everything I said about Black Ops weapons being horrendously balanced. The last year or so of the Warzone meta has been almost exclusively Black Ops guns, meaning I was essentially at a disadvantage in Warzone because I don't want to play Black Ops. In before just grind the Black Ops weapons in Warzone. Again, the Black Ops progression system is blatantly set up to maximize player retention, game balance be damned. 
If you think it's fair to expect people to grind the Black Ops weapons in Warzone, you haven't been paying attention. I understand the need for skill-based matchmaking, both from a business standpoint and a gameplay standpoint. I truly do understand. But the high skill lobbies are fucking unbearable. Aside from long wait times and being forced to play the game a certain way with no variety, I was also treated to horrendous connection that would constantly get me killed around corners, sniped behind walls, run over by a truck that didn't hit me, so on. You'd like crazy stutters, ping that ranged anywhere from 40 to 200 despite the fact that I live in fucking Colorado. And then there's all the usual COD problems like super bullets, poor tick rates, garbage character models that are out of sync with the server. And just like, these problems are all universal to Warzone. Like it's universal to all Warzone players at all skill levels, but they're exacerbated by skill-based matchmaking because it completely throws out the connection priority. The game actively punishes you for getting good at it and it doesn't even have the courtesy to give me a ranked mode. Eight, audio is a joke. I don't know why footstep audio is so inconsistent. I don't know why gun volume and gun position sounds are so inconsistent. I don't know why dead silence is in the game at all when the audio is already this bad. I honestly, I can't even coherently criticize the audio in this game because it's it's just bafflingly bad. And that's it, that's everything. I hate this game, I'm not reinstalling it until Vanguard comes out, maybe, and I probably won't even do it then, I'm not sure yet. Roll the death com clips, goodbye. You're a hacker and you know it, buddy. No. Yes. What? How did you get him? Get around. Excuse me? Yeah, really. Where is he? No. Yo. What? Huh? No. He just goes, no. Ah, who the fuck is that? God, you fucking asshole! Of course you fucking find a gun up. Oh, you pussy. Silenced car 98, silenced bullfrog. I'm the pussy. Okay. Inside. Oh, what Stop the shit. Power, dude, I swear. Maybe if it had like seven shots or six, but it has twelve. Then Josh. There's more. Box behind, guys. Oh God. You guys went all the way in and just completely dished me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Fuck you! Kill yourself. We'll be died. Fuck. Okay. Enemy UAV on the head. One. There's two. Perfect. Oh, I thought they got rid of that. Teammate was sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance. Oh no! They got rid of that, I thought. You can't be smashed by it now. Planting Claymore. Oh, god damn it, dude. What? <laughs> Uh, from top of the top of airport, I'm safe. Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I ran out of ammo. I ran out of. 
I'm not even, man. Down one. Camping bag here. I understand, you're a fan. How did you not die? From you're a fucking hacker. Oh, you're dog shit, bro. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Dude, you see. Fuck you, Gumpa. Enemy soldier is coming. Gas is moving. You're a fucking bitch. Fucking cheater. Gas is moving. Fuck, I have a fucking. Well Knock one. Full field. What a fucking puss. Coming up. Cover me, cover me, cover Push me. Push him out, push him out. Down one. Full field. There's a chain. Okay, okay. Enemy dropping into the AR. Fuck. Down him. <laughs> that was. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Oh, you're bad. How do you have a gun now? How do you... I picked it up. Target area. Oh, okay. But then right now. Oops. You fucking... Are you fucking idiot? <laughs> Controller players, I swear to God. Gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, Joe. Honey, what the... <laughs> they were both very upset at you about this, though. And <laughs> he drop shot. Yeah, I drop shotted you, bro. Get fucking shit on. This is a terrible spot to be. Dude, lucky.